I might as well explain why DVDs are good, and I might as well explain why DVDs are bad. So here is Jurassic World, um, it's a good movie, by the way, um, I have it on DVD, and uh, I open it. And why is that? Well, it's because there is a slip cover right here, and um, what makes this even more worse is that there's a hole right in the middle. And obviously, I'm asking, like, why, why do we do this? I mean, like, it's obviously going to break, like, you know, the cover, so, like, you know, if you don't want it to break, so, like, what's the point of having it over here? So, so, you, so you get the thing out, get, you have everything sorted. What do you do with this, then? You throw it away. Like, what, why is that? Because it's just going to be useless. I mean, if you're not going to have, like, you know, the slip cover on the DVD, then, like, you know, what's the point? Here's another example of slipcovers. Um, here's Jaws, one of my favourite movies ever made. Here, it also has a hole, so obviously the, the, the cover's gonna break if you're gonna, like, you know, open it through there. And also, why does the covers have to be, like, you know, different? I mean, I know that's just, like, you know, a small change, but, like, still. If we're gonna have, like, you know, a cover like this on the slipcover, then what's the point of, like, then just why don't you put, like, you know, this cover on here? Or better yet, yeah, just why don't you put this one on there? It's just completely useless if you're just going to have it like this. Right, so here we have um, another one of these movies. Um, and this is an example of um, bad DVD packaging. Um, I don't really mean to criticise like, you know, any of the, the DVD like, you know, makers or anything like that. Because this is Warner Brothers. But th this is like, you know, really cheap like, you know, marketing placement. These types of DVDs, like, you know, they just open as is, and, like, you know, why do I need to, like, why, 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 why does it have to be like this? I mean, like, you know, can't it just be, can't it just be, like, you know, something like that? I mean, it would just be easier. And another thing that's more useless is that, like, you know, when the DVDs, like, you know, are just like this. Why, 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 where, where is the cover? I mean, I'm probably going to get it more scratched up now. At first, I thought it was like, you know, two DVDs stuck together, but like, you know, it turns out it's just one single disc. I mean, which side is it? There's side A and side B. W which one is it? Is, is the movie, like, you know, way too long? So does they have to, like, you know, put them on, like, separate sides? I don't know if you can see that, but there's, like... I don't know if you can see that, but there's both scratches on both of the sides. I mean, it's not hard to put on, like, you know, a, a, like a cover for the DVD. And here's, like, you know, one of my last points that I have, you know, for my DVDs. Here is a box set for Madagascar. Don't judge me why I have a box set of Madagascar. I just like this series. Um, and obviously, this is a good example. Like, you know, you just get like two. You get you get the two movies, and that's it. That that's just a good example. But like you know, with with most of the with with most of the like you know DVD box sets, why do they have to have like you know huge like boxes like you know combined? I mean, it's not like you know hard to like you know make DVDs and just like you know put them in one package. So this is like, you know, a good example of like, you know, how to make like, a good box set. And here is like, you know, a good one then. Here's Godzilla, I mean, it's a fine movie, I guess. Wait, go open it, there you go. Why does it have to like, you know, what, why does most movies nowadays, what, why do they have to have like, you know, these snap things on them? Another thing that's also terrible, is like you know the security stickers that you get on like you know all three sides of the DVDs. I mean, it's, it's not that hard. I mean, like it's not like the DVDs are gonna like you know track private information or anything like that. So what's the point of having those types of stickers? I mean, does anyone really enjoy like you know taking them off? Because I I certainly don't. It makes it really really frustrating. Like you know, to, it just makes them really frustrating to like you know open them up and. That, 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 and some of, like, you know, the movies that, like, and the DVDs that you get in the package, like, you know, they, they have all three security stickers, and, like, you know, they even have the little snap things that you get, which, like, I mean, 
why do they need to have, like, you know, those, like, two snap things? I mean, I can open them pretty, like, perfectly. Obviously, I don't have any DVDs to, like, you know, that have the snap things on them, but, like, you know, you get what I mean. However, if there is one thing that I despise about DVDs, why is there so much amount of logos and trailers? I, well, obviously, like, you know, they, like, they want you to, like, you know, see new movies that, like, you know, come out, and, like, you know, they'll want you to buy them, but, like, still, I just want to get on with them. A stupid movie, Jesus Christ. Um, this is probably an awful video to make, but who cares?